So now, whenever whenever you save the report, uh, like at, at last, like uh, if you after saving the report, if you click on this drop down on the report, you'll see subscribe option. The purpose of subscribe option is if you want to subscribe for this report for the future purposes, like every time instead of going to Salesforce and running this report. Uh, so if you schedule this report uh, by default, you'll receive uh, emails of this report and this report will be comes to your mail id directly okay so for that if you click on subscription subscribe report you'll get different options frequency either do you want to receive it daily or weekly or monthly ones you can select these toggles whereas coming to weekly if we keep weekly on weekly which day you have to receive it on sunday or saturday or monday any day it will ask you to select a date okay so now after date at what time we have to receive it it will ask you that stuff. Okay. Okay. So after that, attachment, like a, attachment, atta is, there a attachment is nothing audit. but let's suppose if you want to attach that report file to you and which format you have to attach it. Only details view or formatted view. In a formatted view means however we are seeing the report in a Salesforce on that way it will come up. Details only mean it, it will be come up like a basic CSV file. Okay. So okay. formatted file, I have to take up. Okay. I want to grab this report, whatever we are getting. So now here it is asking me to send email to whom, whom I want to send an email. It is asking their email IDs. Users, you can select user and you can select username. Let's suppose Prithvi. Think of you. I did not create a user. Let's suppose I can select my name. If any users available with these names in a Salesforce system, it will display. So test security. So we have created a user with the name test security, right? So for that yeah. user, the emails will be sent to automatically to his email ID. Subscriber. Subscribers means I am subscribing to this report. It means I'll get all the updates of these reports. Okay. So now I'm doing this. After this, so run report as me, like I am only the running user of this report. Add, add conditions to this report. If you want to add any conditions on this report, you can do it. Record count. You will get notified when all the conditions are met. If some condition met, then only if you want to get the records, you can take help of this field. So let's suppose sum of opportunity value is above 1 million. Then only have to get a this notifications to me otherwise i don't want to receive this notifications as it is a huge amount right i have to focus upon that account so like that you can do it so once you do it if you save it you are subscribed to this report so continuously so when this condition met only the report will be sent or uh, notification when, yes it shall it will check the condition and uh, duration time duration also on that time duration, if it meets the condition, then only on that specific day, whatever you selected, you will notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay. It's about reports. In today's session, we saw three types of reports. Okay. Uh, joint reports, we didn't discuss that. Uh, tomorrow, if possible, we'll discuss joint reports. Okay. And uh, we'll see a dashboard concepts. Okay. For this, I'll forward you some blog from internet to you and a better practice these things from a trailhead so that you'll get a lot of stuff okay so with this i'm stopping for today any doubts uh, no, yeah. okay then